My name is Alistair Lee. In this video, I'm going to walk through the process of integrating an adaptive form with the user profile to automatically pre-fill that form with the user's data. To do that, I'm first going to log into Adobe Experience Manager, and I'm going to use my own profile to test this out here. I'm going to navigate first to Forms and then Data Integrations to set up the form data model first. Now, I don't have any data integrations yet, so let's create a new one, first by clicking on the Create button and selecting Form Data Model. Here, we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it User Persona. I can give it a description. I'm just going to click Next. And I'll select User Profile for our data model and click Create. This is going to open up the data model so that I can edit it and add some services. So I've got a canvas here that I can add my default schema to. I'm going to check the checkbox beside default schema and click Add Selected. And this gives me some information. I can see the profile is already here. I'm going to modify this to add our read service. So I'll do that by checking the checkbox beside User Details and clicking Edit Properties. And over here, I can see two different services that I can set. The first one is a read service. And from this read service, I'm going to choose the Get Current User Details service. This is going to take all of the details from the user profile so that we can use them in our form. You can see there's also the option to set a write service. And there are no services that I can use here in terms of our user profiles. So we can read information from a user's profile. We can't write information back to it. So we can't update it or overwrite information that's already there. I'm just going to choose None here in that case, and then click on the Done button, and then Save this. We've now saved our user details. We can actually test it out. I'm once again going to click the checkbox beside User Details and click Test Model to make sure that this is working before I go any further. I'm going to make sure that I've got the read service selected, Model Read, you can see here. And I'll click Test while I'm logged in as myself. And you can see that my personal information is showing up here in the data in the test output. I can see that it seems to be working. My first and last name are there, email address, phone numbers, and some more personal data. So we've got our form data model set. Now let's go and apply it to a new form. I'm going to do that by closing this out, going back to AEM Forms, and uh, navigating to Forms and Documents, and creating a brand new form. And this is going to be an adaptive form. We'll base it just on a blank template and click Next. This will be a registration form. Before I click Create, though, I do want to set the form model. So I'm going to go and click on Form Model. We're going to choose a form data model. And then we'll select our user persona as that form data model. So with that done, I'm going to click on the Create button and then open that up in the Forms Editor. Our form is now opened up in the Editor. It doesn't look like much right now because it is a blank form, but we can change that pretty quickly. First by opening up our side panel. And I've got access here to all of the different components. I can start adding fields, but I can actually leverage that form data model to start populating some of the fields. So I'm going to click on our form data model objects here. And you can see all of the profile information is available for me. So that I can simply drag and drop this onto the page. I'm going to click first on given name, then family name. Let's add email address and phone number as well. I can do that, again, simply by dragging and dropping the fields from the data, mo data model objects over to the form canvas itself. We'll finish this up by adding a Submit button at the end. And before testing this, we want to use a pre-fill service to ensure that the data is automatically populated. To do that, I want to configure the form itself. Now, right now, I've got this Submit button selected. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I choose the parent, which is this Adaptive Form component, and then click on the Configure icon to configure the Adaptive Form. And a drop-down list box that I can see here is a pre-filled service that I can use to pre-populate the form. If I click on that drop-down list box, 
I've got our form data model pre-fill service as an option I can use. And our form data model is that model that we just set up with the user profile. So I'm going to click on the checkbox to set that. We'll click on preview to test this out. And you can see as soon as it launches, it's automatically pre-populated all of my information so that it makes it easier for me to fill out this form. That's how easy it is to integrate your Adobe Experience Manager adaptive form with a user profile. Thanks for your time.